Hello from Purple Bandidos, welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Ash Grey version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we made our way here to Cerulean City, we helped the Cerulean sisters, we helped out Misty. In today's episode, we're going to continue on with our adventure really quickly. Thanks to you guys for all your tips and your suggestions. Thanks for all your likes. Make sure to give this video a like, it really helps the series. And you know, it really, really helps us to keep on going and make sure we don't get lost in this huge region that is Kanto and Ash Grey. So I've actually figured out where exactly we have to go. Now, if you guys remember, we have seven gym badges as of now, so we have one more to collect. And if you're a diehard Pokemon fan or if you've ever played the first game, you know that the eighth and final badge is going to be located in Viridian City. Now, one of the things that this game has done... Wait, really quickly, it's a Wild Clefairy. What, what would you be up to? What did it say? Uh, what, what is it doing? Did it just tackle me? Okay, so the Clefairy is on a rampage. It is trying to assert its dominance. Your pickaxe is missing... Alright, so our pickaxe is missing, and now we're going to have to go after the Clefairy that has it. But, you know what? Go ahead and behold it. We are back here at Mount Moon. One of the places that we have nightmares about, because it is here in Mount Moon where we have to go through to make our way back to Pewter City so we can make our way back to Viridian City. It's a whole mess. Rodri, I knew the Clefairy were from outer space. They built a spaceship so they can return to the moon. Your pickaxe? Oh, the Clefairy must have borrowed it to burrow through the wall. Okay, guys, so they stole our pickaxe. So they could burrow through the wall. And as you can see, they are boarding the rocket, the spaceship, and this crazy scientist is going to go with them. Now, I have no idea how that guy is going to be able to breathe in space. It might be a superpower the guy has. You never know. If Pokemon can shoot, you know, lasers and, and flamethrowers and all these crazy things, maybe that scientist has got some way to breathe in space that we don't know about. Who knows? It's the Pokemon universe. We really don't know what the heck's going on. So let's go ahead and actually swim down here. If you guys remember, we had to battle a ton of trainers here on this mountain last time. It was actually a little bit difficult to get through. But it wasn't as hard as the Rock Tunnel. The Rock Tunnel's definitely been the most difficult. I'm not even looking forward to seeing Victory Road. I'm guessing that's going to be 30 or so battles. Who knows how many battles, you know, this developer is going to put on Victory Road. At the rate this guy's going and at the rate the difficulty that this game is elevating, it's probably going to be really, really tough. And I'm actually not even sure... I mentioned this to you guys before, I'm not sure how the Elite Four or all that sort of stuff is going to work. Because, as, as I said, I'm watching the anime and they do like a best of 16 and a top 8 and, you know, semi-final and all that stuff. So maybe that's what they're doing in this game. Maybe we just start off, you know, a little bit different. Maybe we start off battling the top 16 and then the top 8 and maybe we actually have a chance to win this game. Or it could possibly be rigged too, to the point where we lose right where Ash loses. But who knows, if you guys, you know, know anything more about that, let me know in the comments because it's always nice to get little hints and tips so I know you know what's gonna be coming up but with that guys we are pretty much back to pewter city it's a good thing we took on all those trainers earlier now that we're back here you can actually see that it might look a little bit different to you than the version you're playing so it's been updated you can update the game as you go that's something that I'm doing whenever you know a new update gets released on it I go ahead and op update it I'll update the hack so we can just you know have the most up-to-date moment so the game might have changed a little bit from the last time we were all around here in this area since it's been a pretty long time but nonetheless it's still you know pretty much the same just a couple minor tweaks here and there that I guess the developer wanted to do which is pretty cool I don't mind if it means the game gets better then why not so we are pretty much back to our hometown I'm looking forward to just seeing everybody I don't know if we'll actually make it back to Pallet Town today but we'll at least make it to Viridian City because we have something very important to do here today Let's go ahead and hack down this tree then and make a way to Viridian City. I was about to sing that song, but that's it is Viridian City. All right, guys, so we're on the road to Viridian City, and that road was we're here. We're here at Viridian City's Pokemon Gym, and we are ready to head inside and battle for 8th Badge. What's Team Rocket doing here, though? Oh, and look, it's Gary. Still playing with your cute little Pokepals, eh, Rodri? I thought you finally gave up catching and training Pokemon. I figured you went back to Pallet, but no, here you are, still at it. I just stopped by on my way back to Pallet to see if the leader of this gym wants to battle a real Pokemon trainer. I'm Gary Oak from Pallet. I hereby request a battle with the leader of this gym. Okay, guys, so he's going to make his way inside. Uh, good luck. Only one trainer allowed in the gym at a time, kid. The battle's over now. You can enter. Wait, wait what kind of battle's going on in there? I could have just, I, I just felt an earthquake happen. Gary's on the ground. Someone call Officer Jenny. Something really went wrong here. This guy is dead. Oh, he woke up. Oh, we're all good. We're good. It's here. A Pokemon we've never seen did this. There's something different about this one. This Pokemon's not just powerful, it's evil. One thing's for sure, no one will ever beat that Pokemon. <laughs> it's 
Today something has happened that will make you very jealous. We just got a big promotion. Now we're going to get the respect we deserve. Because the new leaders of this gym are the three of us. Just moments ago, we were put in charge of this gym in the Earth Badge. If you want it, you'll have to defeat us. Okay, guys, so the final gym leaders are Team Rocket. Let's see just how strong you are, little boy. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Team Rocket for the final badge here in the Kanto region. We are ready to go. Team Rocket has three Pokemon. They're going to open up with them a champ. Level 50, though. So these are definitely not their regular Pokemon. These guys have either stolen a couple or the original trainer of this gym left these Pokemon behind for them. I'm going to go ahead and guess that's what happened because this is the Earth, you know, badge we're going for here. So it's like earth type pokemon whatever you would classify into that like ground i guess fighting classifies into that and we just got smacked down by this guy i'm actually gonna go ahead and send out pidgeotto though you know type advantages guys as i told you i'm getting amazing at him yeah I, I pretty much know uh what to do here in these regions you know kanto is the one region that i know a lot about if you quiz me on this one this is one of those that I can, you know, nail out some facts for you guys. All right, next is Rhydon. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out the Bulbasaur. It's kind of too bad that Squirtle went down so quick because Squirtle would have been probably the most helpful one in this gym. But nonetheless, we still have a good amount of Pokemon. Also, I'm not sure after this gym what levels I should train our Pokemon up to. So if you guys have a certain level that you personally did when you played through, uh, tell me about that because I don't want to overtrain because I still want to keep a little bit of the excitement. I think that sometimes when the battles are a little bit more difficult, it makes it a lot more fun, especially for me. You know, sometimes I do get frustrated with battles, especially when the level of difficulty is extremely high, but it's also a little bit of fun to, you know, have to come up with different strategies in order to take them down. So with that, guys, let's go ahead and take down this... Ooh, guillotine. Oh, mother fudge. Oh, yeah. All right, so these Pokemon all have one-hit KO moves, if you didn't know. Luckily for us, we haven't been hit with one yet. I'm guessing Kingler is just going to keep continuously trying to use these one-hit moves on us. That's kind of scary. It makes you think, what if you had some really bad RNG built into you, and you just started getting KO'd by every single one-hit move? That would be really terrible. With that, guys, we've gone ahead and defeated Kingler. We defeated Leader Team Rocket. Girl, we won't lose this time. Wait, what do you mean this time? That was really easy. That was it? Now you have to face Team Rocket's Pokemon. What? Are you freaking kidding me? All Pokemon attack at once? Okay, how is that even freaking fair? Is this like a triple battle? That'd be pretty cool, honestly. All right, so there's four Pokemon of Team Rocket. All right, what the heck? So this is a seven Pokemon battle without us getting to heal? Well, that's pretty ridiculous. How the heck are we supposed to do that? All right, let me go ahead and see what I can do here. I might switch out, actually. Let's go ahead and send out Pidgeotto. This is kind of absurd that they're making you take on seven Pokemon that are all high level. It's not like there's one individual that's a lot more powerful than the other. All these guys are really high level. This is tough. This is really, really tough, but you know what? I like a challenge here, so we're going to try our best to take it down. Spit up. What the heck is that? What the fudge? That does so much damage. Okay. Maybe hit a crit. Maybe luck out and hit a crit. I don't know. No, we did not. But that's okay. I have quick attack ready next round. So we should be able to take it down with a quick attack. Good thing for us having that, right? All right, guys. With that, victory bell goes down. And these are just the usual Team Rocket Pokemon. Nothing too fancy about them. Just the usual four they use. I'm guessing it's like victory bell, you know, wheezing. It shouldn't be too hard. We're going to go ahead and learn double edge, though. If you guys noticed before, Pikachu also has double edge now. So now we have two Pokemon with like a really, really high powered normal type move. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of, yeah, we'll get rid of Feather Dance. Feather Dance, we, we barely even use it. I feel like Sand Attack might come in handy if we eventually need to put a lot of, uh, I was about to say CC, crowd control, which is strange. It's a League of Legends term. I guess it's just kind of like stuck onto me if we need to put some CC onto it. Let's go ahead and go for the double edge, though. Maybe it'll do a lot to this wheezing. I'm not really sure how much it'll actually do. That does barely nothing to the wheezing. Okay, that's probably going to take us down. And let's go ahead and switch out then. Let's see who we can bring out. Who do you guys think? Who do you guys think? Let's bring out... Ah, yeah, we'll bring out Bulbasaur. We'll see if Bulbasaur can do a little something-something here. I don't know how much damage we'll honestly be able to do, but it's worth a shot. Let's charge up the Solar Beam then. I'm hoping it'll do a lot to it, but at this rate, you know, grass types in this in this first gen are, are kind of weak. That's a really big downfall of the grass types. They're just really, really weak in this generation. I think my favorite generation for grass types would have to be, you know, Platinum, Diamond, and Pearl. Oh my goodness, like having a Torterra, I think was one of the most fun things I've ever experienced in a game because it was so strong when you combine a grass type with a ground type, you know, even though Ice will 
tear you apart. But nonetheless, it makes you super strong, and it's really, really cool because you're such a tank too. I wish they kind of had. Are you, are you serious? I literally just switched out to Charizard, and the Weezing's gonna explode. Oh, that's a fun time. All right, thanks Weezing. Thanks for nothing. Charizard just took a bunch of damage. We already know this guy's not gonna listen to me in a battle. Now I'm gonna have to sit here and suck it up and hope that he can land one flamethrower on this Arbok before we get KO'd. Okay. All right. I guess this battle is not letting up at all. I'm going to go ahead and go for the flamethrower for sure. There we go, guys. Charizard not obeying us because of how cool of trainers we are. Yeah, probably not that reason. It's not going to obey. Charizard is going to pass out. All right, Charizard, enjoy your Pokeball. Thanks for not doing anything. We appreciate you not doing anything in this battle. All right, we have a two-on-two. -two. We have Pikachu going up against the Arbok. Let's go for the Thunder. We missed the thunder! Fantastic! Yay! RNG! Arceus is not on our side today! What a great time! Oh my goodness, that's gonna do a ton to us! I really don't want it to be Bulbasaur- Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, I just took so much freaking damage and I couldn't even land one thunder! Okay, that's pretty ridiculous. Now I'm gonna have to heal up a few times before we can even get an attack off. That should not have happened to us. But you know what? All our Pokemon are knocked out. I should have honestly trained up Krabby or something. I think I might just do that. Either train up Krabby or Muck. I know we're going to need both of them coming up into the Pokemon League. Thank you, Netflix, for letting me watch the Pokemon anime. I know we're going to have to train them up a bit. So I'll probably be doing that uh, before the next episode, maybe. Just to have one more of them on our squad. Because it'd be nice to have six Pokemon on our team. Uh, even if it is a Krabby or a Muck or whatever it is. With that, guys, Arbok is down. And we are ready to take on the last Pokemon. Which is probably that Slowpoke. That has been bought. Licky Tongue. That's what I meant to say. Licky Tongue. I always I see the pink Pokemon. Messes me up. Licky Tongue. Let's go for the Thunder. If you can hear, there's a little bit of uh, Thunder outside for me. So with that, guys, we are going to go ahead and take it down. Oh, what the fudge? Okay. That's not, that's not even cool. That's not even cool, Pokemon. Let's land one more Thunderbolt then. And that's going to knock out this freaking Licky Tongue once and for all. Woo! Finally, this has been the longest battle we've ever had. Seven strong Pokemon back to back to back to back to back to back to back we defeated team rocket you're not getting that earth badge twerp what we got 2700 for winning and if we have one more battle to go through you will have to be kidding me and I will literally burn this gym to the ground Pidgeotto is evolved no we're not letting him evolve are you kidding me guys come on you, you you have to know this by now I don't care if it's cheating we're cheaters and now we're gonna set off our secret weapon and blow away the competition ah! James, don't tell me you sent the bomb to go off on our side of the gym. Looks like Team Rock is blasting off again. All right, so Team Rock dropped the Earth Badge on the floor. With that, guys, we have received the Earth Badge. That is the eighth out of eight badges here in the Kanto region. No more to go. Let's go ahead and actually pick up this Pokeball. We got TM26 Earthquake. That is very nice. Is, is Gary passed out still? He's up. The building's collapsing. Let's run for it. All right, well, yeah, don't just leave me behind. You know, just leave me behind while the building's going down. The Viridian Gym's collapsing. And it has crumbled to the ground. So with that, guys, we have defeated the eighth and final gym in this game. Onwards to the Pokemon League we go. Or do we? I'm not really sure where this hack is going to take us. So if you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Make sure to give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.